you how to do the gremlin bomb. As you can see I'm playing a male orc thief and I'm currently in uh, the DDL which leads to the assassins guild and I came here just to drop all my items this is my inventory that I dropped and I'm currently carrying a blustering of the fish so you need either uh, an item <coughs> that gives you water breathing like a helm of water breathing or a blustering of the fish or two uncursed rings of the fish so I have one blustering that means that I can breed underwater I also have uh, a weapon which does not rust the orcish spear I have uh, an item that gives regeneration my knife of endurance I have my teeth picks and of course imp importantly my waterproof bl blanket I have the fluff ball which I need to start the gremlin bomb some keys uh, that ring I don't need that ring actually I can drop it so I'm gonna do that um, and also importantly is that I have uh, my want of teleportation and then I have some utility stuff like a wand of monster detection, door creation uh, I have my holy water to bless things I have my scrolls of identification with me for when I have a lot of items I have some boost to recharge some wands if I have to I have some scrolls of darkness and a crystal of darkness uh, if for whatever reason I need to escape I can uh, I can use darkness and of course I have food. You you need some blessed stomophilia herbs or a lot of cooked lizards. Of course stomophilia is the best. I have 31 which is more than enough to do a very long gremlin bomb. So let's go. We have done our preparation. Let's jump into the water. <laughs> Even though I don't know how to swim. That doesn't matter because I can breed underwater and we search for a stairway we find one and we go down the underwater cage marked as the WDL is actually very dangerous because it has uh, creatures such as uh, dragon turtles and dragon turtles have a water bolt attack that could potentially kill you in one or two hits so these are very very annoying the water dungeon also has some easier opponents such as these uh, water snakes these are of course no problem at all giant turtle since I am not invisible this is actually quite dangerous ideally you should be invisible but I don't have an invisibility item not yet anyway but um, if I do the gremlin bomb I will get one soon enough and I'll just put it on once I get it but first we're gonna talk to Shisirixius, the female great water dragon. She roars. Has she seen my baby? So uh, we're going to go back. Okay, so I made a door. Giant sharks are not that dangerous. I could just teleport, but I'm gonna try to save my teleportation charges I'm not gonna waste them on a stupid shark I'm not gonna spend time fighting him either I'm just gonna continue on because I don't want to waste any time just in case that someone, one of those uh, dangerous dragon turtles decides to have some fun with me so I'm gonna close these doors I'm gonna pick the lock and close the door you lock it okay I'm gonna lock this one too and then we're gonna go talk to the baby water 
Hunter Dragon. This will give you a small loyal boost. So I'll, I will go from neutral minus to neutral equal. So do you want to tell him about the Dragon Cave? Yes, he's very happy and actually I went to neutral plus. I'm not crowned yet so yeah, it doesn't really matter. Now the reason why I uh, did this first is because you might do something to anger the water dragon and if you anger the water dragon or if you kill the water dragon and you go back to town then uh, the baby water dragon is gonna be angry if you kill this mummy and then he's gonna make the entire town go berserk on you and that's not so good so now by doing this quest uh, the baby dragon is gone if at some point we decide to kill the water dragon which is very difficult by the way then uh, the entire town won't go mad and it won't screw up the other quests so um, I'm gonna lock the door by picking its lock you do not manage to pick the lock that's BS I'm a thief I can do that I hit oh yeah I still have my rusty uh, I thought that uh, these spares would not rust. I guess I was wrong. Doesn't matter. Mm. I don't need a spare. I should have brought an artifact, obviously. So, I'm gonna put another door. I, I do these doors. Um, you unlock the door. Yeah, I want to lock it actually. Yes. I do these doors just as a safeguard to make sure that the gremlins don't go all out, out of control. This is normally not a problem, but hey, you never know. So I'm gonna put on my shields, I'm gonna equip a regeneration item because I don't have invisibilities and I might get some damage. Um, and then I'm gonna see if everything is ready, double check everything. Okay, I'm gonna wield the fluff ball. Are you sure you want to wield it? Yes, I am. And then I'm gonna wait a few turns and hop. Suddenly your uncursed fluff ball vibrates strongly. Yep, gremlins underwater. And we all know what happens to gremlins when they get into contact with water. Basically they explode. So this is a gremlin bomb. And before you know it, we have a lot of gremlins. I'm gonna go into very defensive mode. Or you could also go coward, it doesn't matter. And then I'm just gonna paste a bunch of commands in my terminal. So what I do now is I paste um, the command to eat and then followed by the command to do pickpocketing and so on and so on and so on. I do that for as many turns as I want for as long as I have food. And when I'm done with it I will have a lot of items including green rings of genie summoning and so on. So I'll just uh, do that for now. So as you can see I have been a uh, pickpocketing for 20,000 turns because the turn counter has gone from somewhere around 30k to 50k. What I did is basically I uh, pickpocketed until I had a source of light and a source of invisibility. Then I just put on my ring of invisibility And then I just uh, kept pickpocketing until I uh, hit about 50k turns. As you can see there are two dragon turtles. But they can't see invisible creatures so it's not a problem at all. So let's see what I got. 
I'm gonna identify all my items and I'll show you uh, what you can get from a gremlin bomb bunch of helmets you can get elven chainmails sometimes good ones the default is plus zero plus five I have gotten ones that are as good as plus two plus seven but your mileage may vary you can get uh, the ar artifact gloves iron fist I didn't get them but if you just keep pickpocketing long enough eventually you'll get iron fist uh, then what else uh, girdles nothing special you can get girdles of greed you have to bless them as you can see I'm now wearing a blessed girdle of greed that's because I also have uh, almost well 270k gold so in order to be able to carry all that gold you need a blessed girdle of greed you can get it while pickpocketing um, I got uh, let's see preserver the artifact amulet preserver you can get amulets of life saving amulets of light if you need a light source so I have two amulets of life saving which is very good for uh, saving Kelly then you can also see that you can get braces of resistance which are also useful items face daggers, knives of endurance um, devastating daggers I don't see any but you can get them then uh, what else normally you get a bunch of slaying ammunition I didn't get any apparently which is a bit strange um, you can also get um, the missile weapon whirlwind which is the artifact sling I didn't get it so yeah basically you get a lot of uh, humanoid slaying arrows of slaying jelly slaying giant slaying and dead slaying so yeah usually only about two three or four of each one waterproof and fireproof blankets a bunch of keys eternium ignots and so on um, and rings a lot of rings I had about one ring of genie summoning and perhaps another one I don't know but you can get rings of uh, g only one ring of genie summoning a ring of weakness which can be useful if you want to scum your strength then a lot of wands a lot of wands you can get wands of wishing if you're lucky I don't think I had one so yeah a lot of wands <laughs> and then potions a lot of potions of water potions of booze and so on um, let's see the potions 84 potions of water which is quite ridiculous and of course scrolls of identify and so on but basically if you need a ring of eyes I probably have one. I mean, if you have, if you need a ring of eyes, or if you need a wish, or if you need uh, an amulet of life saving, doing a gremlin bomb pretty much guarantees that you will get these items. So, the thief class is special because I believe at level 40 they get a special talent that allows them to pickpocket better items this means that you'll get a lot more uh, potions of gain attributes and other things I might be able to show them so uh, if I if I can then I'll put it after this video